Hey guys, I'm over at my parents' place, and if you think that this looks like a mess, you should have seen it just a few minutes ago. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to build a simple NAS server using a Raspberry Pi. There's my Raspberry Pi there, and it's already got installed on it the noobs version of Raspbian. So that's ready to go. And what we're looking at here uh, on the left is our power bar. Of course, we'll be using that to uh, plug everything into. And then we've got one, two, three, four hard drives. In the back corner here is a, a USB hub, which is powered. And then here's just a quick network cable, which I'll be using to uh, set the whole thing together. All right, uh, back in a few minutes. Okay guys, so I've plugged in those USB hard drives uh, that you saw earlier, and I've got the setup done. Uh, I'm here on my Mac, uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log in to the uh, Raspberry Pi over SSH. So. Okay, I'm in. So there's just a couple of things to say before we get going. The first is don't forget you need to fully update your copy of Raspbian. I'm using stock Raspbian, but it is fully updated before this video even starts. If you don't update before you start, it won't work properly. Now there are other ways of doing what I'm going to do, uh, but the first step uh, is to install the bits that we're going to need for Samba and uh, for the hard drives. So I know that these hard drives are NTFS. Uh, I always suggest you don't use NTFS, but I know that these already have data on them and they're NTFS, so I need to install the package NTFS 3G. The other package I need to install is Samba, as that's the Windows file sharing system, and that's what we're gonna be using to set up the NAS drive. There are indeed other ways of doing this. Don't believe that this is the only way, as some websites will vary their instructions slightly from what I'm going to do. I just use a system that uses UUIDs, because I think that UUIDs and their unique identifiers make your hard drive load consistently, so you can always make it the same way. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, and we'll use the UUID system to go through and uh, get this exactly the way we want. Okay, great, we're back. Uh, first things first, we're going to create the directory where these drives will load. Now, I know that one of the drives is a WD My Book, so I'm gonna use a logical name for it and create that directory for it. The next thing to do is to check out the mounted drives and see what the UUID of the drive is. Okay, so there's the my book, and there's its UUID. So I'm just gonna grab that UUID. Now, off to the side here, I'm already building the line that I'm just gonna copy and paste in. It is NTFS. Yeah, okay. Okay, the next thing to do is edit FS tab. So the way you do that, go now at the bottom here. I'm going to add a line, and I'm, because I've created it off screen, I'm just going to copy and paste it. Uh, there'll be some examples of this below in the about section. I just thought I would read through what exactly it means and, and how it works. So first I'm gonna start with the UUID. Here's the string that I copied. This is the location that this is going to mount to. This is the type of drive. Uh, sorry, so the type of drive is NTFS and I'm gonna load it with NTFS 3G. I'm gonna use defaults and no A time. And then this is the, about the uh, priority and there's priority two. So it loads last. Okay, and I can save that. Yes. Okay, the thing to do now is uh, a quick reboot. Uh, make sure that 
that drive loads correctly. So I'll see you back in just a few minutes once it's rebooted. So you can see that everything is loaded there. That means that this has properly listed. Okay, so next we're gonna go uh, back to the main group here. And what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna start configuring our Samba. Samba server. So the first thing to do is to back up the samba.conf. Uh, this lineup will be written below, so you can just copy and paste it. Um, I always back up just so that I have that starting point. Uh, after editing this a whole bunch, it's easy to need to go back to a restore point. So I'm just going to open up the samba.conf that I've uh, got for editing. And we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom here. Now, of course, you can uh, individually tailor this for yourself. Removing these, these semicolons uh, or the uh, hashtags, pound signs, uh, depending on which era you're born in, uh, we'll let you do that. So you can tailor this for yourself, but we're just going to skip all this for now. Get right to the bottom, and I've already created an example. This example you'll find in the About section below. I'm just going to read it to you so that it'll make sense. The first thing to do is to give it a name. This name is what will appear when you connect to the Windows Share Drive, or Samba Drive. This one's called My Book. This comment will also help us identify further what exactly we're loading and how we're loading it. This is the path directory, which we created in the first step, that shows where it should load. Is it available? Yes. Is it read-only? No. Is it browsable? Yes. Is it available to public? Yes. Is it writable? Yes. The creation mask isn't necessary for an NTFS drive, but I use it so that every time we know who the user is, for example, if we load an EXT drive. Now, I always recommend that if you're starting with a fresh drive, you should use EXT4. It's the best for, for uh, well, it's the best type of file system overall of anything, but it's best for Raspbian. And when your Windows system loads the drive, it will load it correctly, and it won't have any problems. There won't be any compatibility issues because your Windows drive will load it as though it's a Windows drive. That's the beauty of Samba, that's exactly what it does. Again, this drive happens to be NTFS 3G, so that's what we've gone with. And the last step here is just to restart Samba, SMBD. Well, that didn't, uh, that didn't work. I'm just gonna go with a full out restart, reboot. Okay, so we'll be back in a second, loading up that drive. So you can see server pi, my book. And what do you know? It's loaded perfectly everything inside that drive. I'm just going to eject it now. So that's it, it returns to my list over here. Okay guys, so here you can see uh, I installed it on a shelf. We've got all the hard drives set up. I only showed you setting up the one hard drive, but all that I did is turn them on in sequence and then repeated the steps to add the different UUIDs to FS tab 
and then loaded them all and then added them to samba.conf. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget you can buy me a coffee in the about section. You can check out my other Raspberry Pi projects. Don't forget you can list your projects in the about section. I'm always interested in what you guys are up to. If you have any questions, don't forget to post them in the comment section below. And subscribe. I post as many of these videos as I can, as often as I can. If you have any questions or any requests, you can always send those to me too. Thanks again.